Today we're talking about how you should store your vinyl records. Hey friends, welcome back. So the first rule of storing your records is that you always want to make sure that they're standing up vertically and not laying flat. Having a huge stack of records that are just piled up on top of each other could easily cause them to become warped and that is going to ruin your whole day. So if you keep them standing up, then that's not going to be a problem. Now the second rule to keep in mind is that if you're not playing them at the moment, you should try to keep your records in inner sleeves and outer sleeves. Inner sleeves are going to protect the record and outer sleeves will protect the record jacket. Now, speaking of that, the only reason I don't have outer sleeves on the records on the wall behind me right now is because it makes the records look more shiny on camera. But if it wasn't for that simple fact, I would keep these in their sleeves at all times. So basically, if you keep your records in the sleeves, both the vinyl and the artwork is not going to get damaged. Also, as a side note, if you're looking for some high quality sleeves to get, I'll post the links to the ones that I personally use down in the video description below if you want to check them out. Now, moving on to storage methods, by far the cheapest option would be to just place your records on the floor. I mean, if you only have a couple of records, then you could easily just lean them up against the wall near your turntable and be good to go. You've got a wall, you got a floor, there you go. Now, although this is the cheapest option, it's not necessarily the best option because being down there on the floor, you're more likely to step on them or break them and that would not be good. So essentially, you're gonna need a better way to protect them. So this is where crates can come into play. Now, contrary to popular belief, milk crates are actually not meant for climbing but rather vinyl record storage. And milk too, obviously. So if you have your records inside milk crates, then they're gonna be a little more protected than if you just had them loose on the floor. Now, that being said, if you really wanna protect them, then you should upgrade to wooden crates, like the ones you see at your local record shop. Unlike the plastic crates, wood crates are gonna be much more durable and they're gonna look even nicer. Now, speaking of wood crates, you probably noticed that I've got this small one right behind me here that's in the background of all my videos. This is a crate that I picked up from a company called Mile Long Records on Etsy a few years back. And overall, I really like it because it's built very well and although it's meant to store 45 singles, you could just as easily use it to store your CDs, cassettes, or eight tracks. So that's really good. And another cool thing about this company is that they also make identical crates for the larger 12 inch albums. So yet again, if you wanna check them out, I'll drop their link down below as well. Now let's say that you want to protect your records, but you also wanna travel with them. Well, in that situation, I would recommend going with the Odyssey cases. So what exactly are Odyssey cases? Well, Odyssey Innovative Designs is a company based in the US that specializes in making hard shell cases for DJs who are always traveling around a lot and need a way to protect their turntables, records, and various other electronics. So basically, their portable cases for vinyl records are really high quality and are built like a tank. Now, although I don't own one personally, I did get the opportunity to inspect one at Amoeba in Hollywood a few years back, and I could immediately tell that the build quality was top notch. So that experience, paired with all of the glowing reviews that I've read online about them, leads me to believe that collectors really love these things especially when they're traveling. So if you are planning on traveling with your records, the two models that you're gonna to wanna to look for are gonna be the Odyssey FZ LP80, which holds about 80 records, and the CLP 200P Pro Carpeted LP Case, which holds about 200 records. Now, unfortunately for me, I made the mistake of buying one of these Euro Light imitation cases, which look awfully similar to the Odyssey ones, but don't have the same build quality. 
which was a real bummer when I found that out. So my advice to you would be don't do what I did and fall for one of these knockoffs. Make sure you're getting a genuine Odyssey case and you're definitely gonna thank yourself down the road. All right, now let's say you don't need to travel at all and you've got a lot of records, like hundreds or thousands that you wanna store in your home. Well, in that case, you're gonna to need to start thinking about shelving. So the best shelves that I've personally used and have found to be very reasonably priced are the Ikea Kallax shelves. So what's a Kallax? Well, basically it's a very modern looking shelf unit with the perfect size cubby holes for 12 inch vinyl albums. So if you've got a lot of vinyl, the Kallax is gonna be the perfect solution because you can fit about 50 to 60 records per cube. So if you get a small two by two unit, you can store 200 records. And if you get a five by five unit, you can store over 1,250 records. So that is really awesome. And to top it off, they come in a bunch of cool colors. So overall, I've been using these shelves to store my records for years and they've been working out great. So I know that if you get them, you're gonna absolutely love them. Now, before we go, today's song of the day is Don't Look Back in Anger by Oasis. And if you have a suggestion for a song of the day as well, post it in the comments down below and you might see it in a future video. All right, so there you have it. Those are my best tips and recommendations for your record storage needs. So which one of these methods do you personally use? And just as a side note, how many records do you have in your collection? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you love collecting records and wanna learn even more about this awesome hobby, then feel free to subscribe and smack that little bell notification down there somewhere so you won't miss out on the new videos. And most importantly of all friends, have a fantastic day, stay safe out there, and keep spinning that vinyl.